we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the beginning of this month of May and for the gift of life for each and every one of us as we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. We thank you for with him and through him as well. We have seen the dignity of labor, the dignity of work. And thank you, Lord, for the work that you have given to us, part of the mission of building the kingdom here on earth and sanctifying as well whatever we do for your greatest glory. Lifting up to you, o Lord, our families, our loved ones, members of our prayer global warrior, and those who recommend themselves our prayers, and for those who have promised us as we come together. Walk with us, O Lord, as you have always walked with the disciples of Emmaus. Stay with us, O Lord, we invite you because we need you and love you, O Lord. The above all, bless us with your grace and presence that we may always recognize your love for us, your mercy and forgiveness. But above all, like St. Joseph, we become faithful and obedient stewards of your manifold blessing. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, to, Glory you, to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and, and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord will with you. Good morning and good evening. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Morning, morning, morning. Morning. Truly his recent Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The striking point always of this gospel is when Jesus was rejected and when said no prophet is accepted in his own town, in his own country, but partly in his town, among his kinsmen. You know, in, in a very practical way, for example, even as priests, we are not usually assigned to our native, to our town or to our place. Although at these years, there are moves that priests, especially Paris priests that you see, son, are sent back to their place of origin with the bishop's mind that hopefully the people there who knew him, especially the family, would be of big support. But we realize in many languages that, you know, familiarization at times breeds content. And so even when the past is known to people, usually they stick to mind and they do not allow even people to move on, even if they have transformed. Jesus, in the language of his mission, he went back to his own country, to his own town, the Nazareth. He wanted as well to do the mission that the fathers entrusted to him. That's why his being in the synagogue is his own way of proclaiming the good news, of allowing them to hear the message of the Father as he was sent by the Father. But you see, the useful thing, no? the useful thing, well, they are the first marites of life. and say, is he not the carpenter's son? So putting him down as well. He's only a carpenter's son. Are not his sisters known to us? Yes, they have known him. So on and so forth. So they have known his origin. But how come he can do mighty deeds? How come he can speak language that is perhaps different from the language? How come they can, he can answer them to the higher realm of life? And even putting the father in front of them. This is just too much for them. Just too much for them. And so what he had done in his native place practically 
and the lives of the people there had created no such impact. That's why the last part would say he did not work a lot of miracles there except for curing some. The most painful perhaps experience that when he was rejected by his people, when he was rejected by his townmates. And rejection is always an experience of a painful emotional reality. Especially it's coming from those people you love, from those people you know, from those people you feel they could be of support to you and would accept you. But it's quite different from the experience of Jesus. So take note that at that very start even, but of course, even when he was, he was newly born, when, when Herod sought for the killing of the firstborn, that's a rejection par excellence. This time, his people rejected him. And what more, later on, we will see that the Pharisees, the leaders, the Sanhedrin would reject him and totally lead him to the cross. But that he endured as well. You know, he, he kept them in his heart. He kept them in his heart. How he wanted his people to see him, to recognize him, and to be part of the mission that the Father has entrusted. But those people, his soundmates, were adamant to accept him. Was it jealousy? I always take it as in the language of jealousy. Because at times, even when, I mean, we, I come from Iloilo, for you, you have your province, small town as it is, you know, at times we, we see people pulling each other down. We see that the success of others, you know, becomes a source of jealousy for others. There is one place in Iloilo that, you know, when one home would buy a piano, the next day the nearby homes would have pianos. Well, you know, it's always a contest. It's always, when they buy something <laughs> new, whatever, whatever that house had bought, they will do the same. It becomes a contest for them. But that was not the mind of Jesus. His mind was an obedience to the will of the Father. His mind and actions were fidelity to the will of the Father. But I was saying, no, realistically, even for us, at times, we at home, we could not simply proclaim the good news. So at times, you, you would hear, as a superior, and ayan, as a father, director, and ayan, you become the superior and the mother general, the father general. At home. It's, too, it's too hard at times. It's too hard to pull our people, to pull people at home. Even when they would, so when we invite them or go to mass and say later on, and they would not go to mass, we invite them to pray and join the rosary, but they would not join. It's hard at times, but you see, Jesus had experienced the same. For us not to be discouraged, but rather on his part, while he did only some miracles there, some healing of the sick, he still continued to do what is the will of the Father. But of course, <laughs> later on, you realize that he would still be called Jesus the Nazarene, an element for the people of Nazareth to rejoice at this time because the Savior came from their place, the Savior lived in their place, the Savior was of their place. What do we have at this time? The Nazareth of Jesus in its one's home. The Nazareth of Jesus, it's in one's heart. In one's workplace, even today as we celebrate St. Joseph, the worker, seeing that, that Nazareth is the place where Jesus would visit. It's the language of the love of God for us to accept him, not to reject. And like St. Joseph, to be obedient to the will of the Father, to continue even at times it's hurting, even when there are rejection, because our life is not just to have all those things, but rather beyond all those things, we continue to do the will of the Father. May we become doers of the will of the Father. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You taught us to fight rejections. You taught, you taught, us, taught us, to us to fight rejections. To fight Though rejection. painful. Though painful. painful. Especially, Especially when they come. Especially when they come. The people we love most. The people we love most. The people, the people we trusted most. The people we trusted most. And the people we know very well. 
the people will know that we know, will know very, well. very well. But you did not mind all of these rejections. Well, you did you did not mind all these rejections. rejections. But instead, you keep doing on. But but instead, instead, you keep on doing with fidelity and obedience. With fidelity and obedience, the will of the Father. The will of the Father. The will of the Father. We ask you, O Lord. We ask you, O Lord, to enter the Nazareth of our hearts. To enter the Nazareth of our hearts, of our homes. Of our homes, of our workplaces, of our workplaces, and sanctify us, O Lord. And sanctify us, O Lord. May we learn from Saint Joseph. May we learn from Saint Joseph who took good care of you, good care of you, who protected you, who protected you. And showed you the dignity of labor. And showed you the dignity of labor. Carpenter son. Carpenter son. All of which. All of which. Are part of the mission entrusted to you by the Father. Part of the mission entrusted to you by the Father. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, Amen. full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, Mother pray, God. For pray for us sinners, for us sinners. Now, now that they are of our death. Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray, pray, pray for us. us. Angel of God. Saint Augustine, Saint Hannibal, and Saint Anthony. Pray for us. for us. for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Pray for us. Saint, O oh Lord. Holy apostles into your church. Into your church. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless us, our families, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening, all, and good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you very much once again. One time for titos, titas. Sino na dyan, Tito Ben? Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> so, how's everybody? Everybody's okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But, but there are one, one question. Uh, ano ang population ng when it comes to ano uh, religion nila ba sa Naz uh, Nazareth or Bethlehem a Catholic sila or na maintain nila na maintain I, I don't know really the percentage of the religion uh, pero as it is even Jerusalem Israel it's a mixed one Jewish Catholic Orthodox it's a mixed religion really it's a mixed religion even we were saying always that even in, in Jerusalem, now where you have the Holy Sepulchre, it is owned by different denominations, by Muslim, by Catholic, by Orthodox, Armenian, so on and so forth. So it's, it's, it's a mixed one. But the most important is the sense of unity that this one would have as part and parcel of even the very mission of the Lord, now that all may be one as he had prayed. So Nazareth, kasi usually pinupuntahan na naman namin, it's the place of the Annunciation, the place of St. Joseph, and afterwards we, we don't visit other places. That's the usual places that we would, uh, we would visit for, for the pilgrimage. Oh, that's part of our, ano pala? Yes. Uh, uh, Nazareth. Yes, we will see the place. Uh -huh. Kasi, kasi I remember na ang, ang church namin dito, no? ang Paris uh, Church ko dito. Uh -huh. uh, well, yeah, I think uh, before the pandemic, there was a priest um, who visited us. Tapos taga, taga Bethlehem siya. 
Uh-huh. Tapos ang sabi uh, tapos ang sabi niya uh, 1% na lang ng population are Catholic sa Bethlehem. Tapos yeah, tap, tapos gin, gin research ko parang hindi naman. I, I don't know. I don't have the research of their percentage. But practically even in the Philippines not before it's 85 now it's just 82. It's uh, becoming less yung Catholics natin. So before we were the of course still the majority but you know it's lessening. It's decreasing. That's quite sad as well because other domino- denominations are also very aggressive. Uh, very aggressive. More aggressive sila kaysa Catholics. Mag 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 uh, ano mag mag recruit. Preach, mag preach. Mm-hmm. Preaching. So they can stand along the streets and make proclamation. <laughs> they they, they uh-huh. enter the buses. They and you know <laughs> they do their proclamation. But of course, the only difference is after doing that one. They ask for collections. <laughs> oh, they knock at your door. Mas kina dito. At talaga. Oh, oh. oh. One time na pag pag knock, uh, nag knock sa sa door ko no. Tapos pag open ko, ang sumigaw ka agad ng repent. The world is going to end. Yon ka agad. <laughs> Nang sagot na tito. <laughs> Sabi ko, I'm sorry, I'm a Catholic and I'm very positive it will not end. <laughs> Sa mga parkingan, ganyan sila. Yeah. Mm, they are very, very, ano. Mm. Doom very kasi ang ano nila eh. Daring pagdata. Which is nice. Oh. nice. It's nice. It's nice. We have to follow them as well in that regard so that, you know, uh. our proclamation, kasi minsan tayo, nga kahit sa bahay, minsan tayo nahihiya to no, propose to our family. Uh-huh. Ang theme kasi ang ang ayo ko lang kasi sa kanila is ang theme nila is you are doomed. Yes, sa atin naman is hope. Yes. Yung uh-huh. ano natin hope. Tapos end of the world kagad sa kanila. End of the world kagad tapos doom kagad. <laughs> so, parang wala nang pag-asa ang mundo ba kung sila magsalita. <laughs> <laughs> Any question about St. Joseph? Question or sharing? Mm, or sharing. Your experience. Uh, nag, nag-share na si Tito Ray kahapon about St. Joseph. The sleeping yes. Joseph. Yes. Uh-huh. Tita Connie, ang ganda ng buhok niyo. With bangs. <laughs> uh, may, may ano, I don't know, no? kung it's still going on, Father, no? na mag San Jose ba sa... Ano yun? Ano, anong March? March ba yun? Ang March 19th. Yeah. That's March the husband 19th. of Mary. We have two celebrations for St. Joseph. March 19 is for Joseph, the husband of Mary. And May 1 is for St. Joseph, Labor, the worker. The laborer. The, the worker. Yeah. Oh, oh. May, I guess that was established because of it's, it's, a national, it's generally the National Labor Day. Labor Day. Oh, Labor oh. Day. Oh. Kasi ang March 19, Father, I remember, no, if, I don't know if it's still going on, uh, may ginapakain na, na Holy Mata Family. Da. Isang matatalalaki, isang young, la- young girl or young lady. Tapos Depends isang... on the places. Depends on the places, Potita. They maintain the tradition for others. But there is a so-called uh, table of St. Joseph, especially for the poor. And uh, usually mga congregations would do that one. They, have, uh, they are feeding the poor, but in a special way. They call it the table of Saint Joseph, the meal of Saint Joseph. Um, kasi ang ang family namin is my tradition na ganyan na every year noon is gina celebrate hmm. ba. Tapos uh, sa akin gin gin hand me down ang image na malaking image ni Saint Joseph. Ah, talaga. Hmm. Hindi wow. ko na ano, kasi nabilin doon sa sa Iloilo, hindi ko hindi ko na na continue. Pero tradisyon sana ng family ba? Panata. Mm-hmm. Supposed to be yan, Father. Panata. Diba? Kaya nga ako, panata. Oh. Mm. Now, about oh. ma-break mo, Father, ano mangyari? Nothing ma- well, wala lang. Wala circ- naman. Oh. There are circumstances naman. Uh, if this is a promise, kasi it should be fulfilled. 
for example, by virtue of the distance that you have and you know you are not around, although it can be delegated to those at home if they are capable, uh -huh. if they have possibilities. Pwede mang ganun. But of course, wherever you are naman, you can continue. Oo. Oh, oh. Si Anis pala, Jun, palagi kami niya noon sa kanila, pinapakain namin si Lolo, si Lola, ya, matigulang. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Parang kanata nila yan noon. Eh. Kasi if we... Oh, tapos if we read the, the, the life or um, anything about the life of St. Joseph, ang Saint dami Joseph. niya pala na, na St. Joseph ang patron saint. Patron saint of a happy death, yes. uh, patron yes. saint of the laborers, a lot of titles. Oo. Uh, as head of the family, tapos may isa pa na St. Joseph if you want to sell your house or to find a house about real estate, mga ganyan ba? <laughs> Oh, Saint Joseph. Oh, Saint Joseph. Oh, ang ang Saint Joseph about the real estate or real ah ano no ba about about the house? Siguro bibili ng house or whatever. Dito ko lang yun narinig. I mean, dito dito ko lang sa US narinig na about na. Tapos may may image sila ng Saint Joseph na if you want to sell your house with a good price, i i ano mo ang Saint Joseph? May prayers ang Saint Joseph. Tapos ipa ilagay mo ang ang image niya sa ano sa main door tapos ad, other realtors no they believe in that Tap, ngayon ko lang yan narinig dito ko lang yan narinig you remember mo si Quans Elmer sang pagbinta daw nila ng bahay nila doon nilagyan daw nila ng ganyan eh yeah sinabi niya no, noon oh hindi ko if, if you hindi. can remember Oh, Basta sinabi niya. Uh, about St. Joseph. Ang, ang dami talaga ni St. Joseph na siya ang in intercessor, si ba? For a good husband, yun. St. Joseph. Si St. Joseph po ang patron saint sa town namin, Dingras, Dokos Norte. Yung St. Joseph Church po namin doon, one of the biggest in uh, in the country mm -hmm. oh. Spanish, uh, Spanish time Spanish time for uh, it was destroyed by fire it was rebuilt it was destroyed by earthquake it was rebuilt and then destroyed again now we are rebuilding it part of the rebuilding destruction rebuilding <laughs> Uh, I, I belong to a parish din sa Iloilo na San Jose Parish St. Joseph din very popular no? so, especially sa Philippines so, ang daming devotees na St. Joseph and you realize that he's the patron of the Universal Church St. Joseph is the patron of the Universal Church oh, Universal yes. Church oh. opo Yeah, everything is in him. He's the guardian of the two most precious treasures, Jesus and Mary. And Mary. Yeah. Meron, meron po ako dito, December 8, 2020. Uh -huh. Pope announced the beginning of the universal celebration of the year of St. Joseph. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's the year of St. Joseph, Potito, dedicated by Pope Francis. Okay. So why we celebrated one year dedicated really kay, kay St. Joseph. From December 8, 2020, no? Tama? To 2021. Yes, sapo. Pero the title Universal Church had been there from, mostly from the beginning as well. It's a long, long ano, celebration na ah, yung St. Joseph as the patron of the Universal Church. Pero kayo always have the two things. So of course, the Universal Church and one is for, for happy death. <laughs> Yeah. We have to invoke yeah. him. We have to invoke him. I thought tita pag sa real estate pag nilagay si St. Joseph magkakaroon ng malaking discount. <laughs> <laughs> Matiba yung bahay. Matiba ang bahay. Matiba yung ano, ano bahay. You, you can sell very fast with <laughs> good discount sa buyer. <laughs> good price sa buyer. <laughs> <laughs> Carpenter siya, so bahay. Mm. Yes. Oh, oh. 
you spoke, you mentioned happy death, Father. No? Yes, Father. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The body of Saint Joseph. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, happy Very death. good. Oh. Uh, if you would allow me, I would like to share the death of my grandmother, the, my grandmother who could, who wanted me to become a priest. So he was a devotee of Saint Joseph. Mm -hmm. She died a happy death. Wow. Imagine uh, the circumstance was that my sister, whom they raised, visited her with her with my sister's daughters, etc. And my grandmother was very happy. She was already very old at that time. And then uh, she died that day, at that time that my sister visited her. And the circumstances meant all, uh, of her death is like this. No? At three o'clock early in the morning, he rose from her bed and he uh, woke up everybody and she said, wake up, wake up. I am dying, she said. Really? Yeah, she said. And then she went back to bed and prayed that God would accept her soul. And she did not rise again. She died at three o'clock in the afternoon. Wow. Divine oh. mercy. Divine mercy. That was she knew, no? She knew that she was. Sister and my grandmother's younger sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, happy birthday. Three o'clock in the morning to three o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, mother, yes. yes. 12 hours. 12 hours. Like Jesus, no? From Gethsemane. <laughs> oh. And the crucifixion. But oh. you see, that's the grace of the Lord through St. Joseph as well. When you ask really for a good death, no difficulty, just, you know, more on sleeping, no pain and struggle. And it's the grace of God. It's the grace mother of God. in the hospital. Mm -hmm. But I know for her to wake up everybody <laughs> and say she was dying. Like, oh, that tapos, sounds like the thing, diba? Yeah, and true enough, she died. Yeah. How old was she at mm -hmm. the time? I think 87, father. Ah, 87. Oh, galing. Young, young pa yan. <laughs> and she's good age. Age. she is smoke, tobacco. <laughs> she, <drank basi. laughs> she didn't die of cancer, no lung cancer. I think the bacon is healthy. Yata, eh. Black coffee. <laughs> uh, sabi nung doctor ko father dito, sabi niya, uh, did you realize that the old people, although they smoke, they drink alcohol, they live long? Sabi, hmm. You know why? Because they drink black coffee that has been scientifically proven, she said. Yes, uh, black coffee. Mm -hmm. black coffee. And my ma grandmother drank black coffee. <laughs> she drank alcoholic drink. She smoked. <laughs> <laughs> she prayed a lot. <laughs> she prayed a lot. Yun. <laughs> So, four pillars of her life dito, coffee, tobacco, prayer. <laughs> <laughs> alcoholic and drinking, drink. alcohol. Even, even during the time of Jesus, because uh, it was good, because she, uh, when the, remember the uh, wedding in Cana? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's wine, yeah. <laughs> alcoholic drink. Hi. Uh -oh. Hang, hanggang umaga yata ang drink sa wedding or at kainay hanggang umaga ang drink nila ng wine <laughs> sa, sa laki ng galo na yun <laughs> and even to St. Joseph we pray as well for more vocations St. Hannibal has a very very particular devotion interesting to St. Joseph the vocations as well of the congregation and of the church for those who are entering religious and semi and then a priestly life. Guardian of Anoche, Universal Church. Wow. 
Ang dami niyang titles, no? Yeah. After Mary, she has, he is uh -oh. the most revered. Uh -oh. Imagine he took care of Mama Mary, he took care of Jesus. Yes, wow, what, what a privilege, no? What a privilege. Another Tapos ang, by Pope Francis dream is with the Father's heart. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's why all fathers are invited to imitate Joseph to have the Father's heart. Amen. On 33 days of consecration to St. Joseph Father. Kailan tita? Last, last year. During the uh, year of St. Joseph? Yeah. Last. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 20. 2020 na? Apo. Meron talagang book. Apo, by yes po. Father David Calloway, yung converted na priest. Mm -hmm. na, And there na was one. Po, um, ah, talaga po. Yung consecration to St. Joseph. Yeah. Huh? Was That's able nice. to... Even the doctors, there were many doctors who were able to join. Ah, talaga. Mm. Wow, nice. Ah. Oh, mm. Very nice. No? Mga pedia ang nag-initiate. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sina Dr. Chua, MJ, Nick. Noreen oh. Chua. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Gading. Saint yeah, the more we spread the devotion, the better. Yeah. Um, and that is our Saint Joseph. Ang feast. Celebration po sa kanya sa town namin is March 19. March 19, yeah. March 19. So the, the husband of Mary, oh. 19. The most chaste spouse. Pero ang sa ibang town, sa town din uh, ng Marcos family, uh, the, cel the celebration of the, is a Mar May 1. May 1. Ah, more than that. Labor Day. Labor Day. Meron din siyang title na Terror of Demons. St. Joseph, ah, salita ninyo. Yeah, ah. Uh -huh. Salitani. Ah, okay. Hmm. Ay, ay, Tita MJ, kayo pag ano, anong maging litani ninyo? Anong special litani? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tita Grace, anong special litani ninyo? <laughs> Nuestra Senora de la Dolorosa de Corazón. <laughs> Tito Madi, kayo, anong litan ninyo? The reader of the gospel. Of the gospel of the Tito Ray, ano sa inyo? Reflectionist. Parang kisip, sarat po yun ha. Oh, yeah. You have to, ano, ha? you have to look for your litany and for the statue that you would like to be crafted <laughs> when you become saint. <laughs> wow. Kung anong post ng statua ninyo, kung anong dadalhin ninyo, <laughs> kung sino sa paana ninyo. <laughs> A famous post ni Tito Ray na kaganoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> contemplating, contemplating. <laughs> yeah, that is a uh, forfeiting uh, uh, description. Don, para kasi nino ay kino. Nice. <laughs> Joe, the thinker. The thinker. Si Tita Linda, paligid niya, puro mga churches. Goes to church three times a day. Kaya nga po eh. Physical pa. Oo, Tita Linda. Okay. 
I'm, I'm, I have one suggestion. Kasi ang aming provincial superior is in canonical visit these days dito sa Tagaytay. <clears throat> so sabi ko kung may time siya by Friday, Wednesday, kahit five minutes, I will invite him to join as a Zoom para ma-meet po kayo. Oh, uh-huh. sige, Father. Ay, Kailan, I'll Father? ask him by Wednesday siguro. I'll ask him today or tomorrow para I'll message po sa ano natin, group chat para we can invite others to join the Zoom either Wednesday evening para you can meet him and he can give us a message as well. Oh, sige. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh. So, wow. Nice to so, greet the, ano, the provincial superior. Oh. Anong pangalan niya, Father? Father Orville. Father Orville. Orville. Kahigal. From Ilocos po, Tito Ray. Oh, po, Ilocos. Kahigal. Kahigal is from Ilocos. Oh, yes po. Oh, po. Vegan niya, tas na vegan. Ah, vegan. Oh, oh, po. Oh. Father Orville. Yeah. So, I'll inform sige. you po. I'll be, uh, ano, Sige, we will invite okay. other warriors. Apo, as soon as I give, uh-huh. I have the confirmation from him. Then we will, uh-huh. uh, we will announce. Uh-huh. Wow. Wow, yeah. what a blessing. So he, can, he can see us all from the uh, no, global Rogato warriors. Wow. From all over, from all over. Nice. Global. Para ko, Father, superior ninyo, ilonggo din. Hindi, uh, ngayon po ano siya, uh, tawag dyan, uh, he's uh, from Ilocos, Ilocano. Oh. Last time from Bicol, pero well, we have one who is the uh, vice vicar general, is an Ilonggo, pero he stayed more in Manila. From from Iloilo, Father, ang uh, vicar, vicar general. general uh-huh. Uh-huh. From Gima, uh, Igbaras, he uh-huh. was staying more uh-huh. in Project uh-huh. 8. And and daming pare and madre sa Igbaras. Igbaras sa pa, it's ano, mm-hmm. parang Dito bawat Jay's bahay place. yata. Dito oh, oh. J. Dito J. Oh, oh. oh, oh. damo, yes. mm-hmm. damo taga Igbaras nga madre kag pare. Yes. Ako lang yata ang mm-hmm. taga Iloilo, sa grupo dito. <laughs> Hindi naman dito. <laughs> Madami naman. <laughs> <laughs> So see you. Take Thank you very much, Father. Thank you very much. We love you more, Father. Bye bye. Bye. Uh, why is uh, is there a devotion to uh, why sleeping? Oh. Why sleeping? sleeping. Oh. Is the Devotion of uh, Saint, I mean Pope Francis. Ah, sabi dito sa message ni Pope Francis. I like Saint Joseph very much. He is a strong man of silence. On my desk, I have a statue of Saint Joseph sleeping. Whenever I have a problem or a difficulty, I write it on a piece of paper and put it under his statue so he can dream about it. This means, please pray to St. Joseph for this problem. Kaya po, uh, sleeping St. Joseph, yung mga messages ni, sa kanya, ng, uh, through dreams. Through dreams. Uh-huh. Yes, were, uh, received by him. Uh, mm. in dreams why he was una yung ano yung uh, he was going to be the father of uh, Jesus and he is going to, and that uh, Mary is is uh, will be the mother diba? yun ang una and then uh-huh. pangalawa yung he got a message that he should uh, escape. Your flight, no? Yeah, you, he, he, he should bring Mary and uh, baby Jesus away. Did he? Huh? The king from... Uh, king, king Herod? Huh? Yes. Huh? And there's another dream. <laughs> the death of Herod. That's the, huh? That is the reason. Kaya po... Eh, 
Kaya po yung im- yung background ng life size image na nasa simbahan namin sa Dingras, yung background niya. Uh, <clears throat> the angel uh, was facing St. Joseph, sleeping St. Joseph. And that uh, the reason is that Joseph received the messages of God while he was sleeping. Sleeping. Uh, and because of his faith, no, he followed no, the instructions of the angel, no? Yes. Because of his faith. Uh. Mm, kaya pala dri, the, ano, the sleeping Joseph. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Tito Ray. Amen. Thank you, Tito Ray. Uh, so, may we have the three pointers of uh, Tita Linda. There are, th- uh, there are two uh, uh, Gospels for today, no? St. Joseph, and the other one is the, the Good Shepherd. I am the Good Shepherd. Oh. So, I think our three pointers, ni Tita Linda, is about the three pointers. Uh, the Shepherd. The Shepherd. Oh. Please go ahead, oh. Tita Linda. Hmm. Now, the three pointers for today's Gospel, number one, just as Jesus has total trust and full union with his with his father, we too should trust our good shepherd totally, as he has promised that he will even lay down his life for his sheep. Number two, it is a fact of life to experience illness, pain, suffering, and many other challenges. However, in the midst of all this pain and sufferings, we will still find peace, strength, and consolation if we entrust our life to Jesus. Number three, most importantly, Jesus will lead us to eternal happiness if we remain in his fold during our lifetime on earth. Pray for the grace to remain faithful to him at all times. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Citalin. Beautiful, beautiful message. Entrust everything. Entrust everything to Jesus, the Good Shepherd. He will yeah. never abandon us. Never. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, let's have the closing prayer. Um, no? So, let's pray the glory be to the Father. Nalang. Yeah, all together, please. Glory be to the Father, be the Son, to the Holy Spirit, to the Son, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Bye. Good morning. See you.